This episode of Turbo Button was brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron, use coupon code Larry Bundy Jr. to get 25% off of your next several meal orders. And if you order right now, you get your first meal for free. That's right, for free. They'll mail it right to your house. You can cook in your dorm, in the kitchen, over an open fire. And they provide all the ingredients for you. Always fresh and frozen. <laughs> oh, what's that? We have another delivery at the door? Why, yes, come in. <coughs> Just leave it on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going with this? I don't know. It went into kind of something sci-fi. Uh, okay, I gotta work on the, uh, hold on. Is this the last world? Yeah, last this planet? is Ripple Star. Get to the last planet. This is the last planet. Is it really? Boy. I wasn't paying attention. Boy. I know you had me question him for a second, but see how sunset it is? See how dangerous the enemies oh, are so Oh, yeah, early? that's right. Everything's all hearts. I remember. Yeah. Is that guy a spike? I can't remember. I'm gonna... That's a spike. So, yeah, guys, we're on the last level. Fuck. Or the last world, rather. And in this session, right now, we're gonna record the last of Kirby, 64. The last one? What well, do you mean? The last session. Does that mean there's no more Kirby 64? That's right. We can't just After make tonight, a channel just playing it? Well, we kind of have for the past year and a half. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, it looks like look we're the fools. Sure. We are the fools. This April Ooh, Fools. Oh, you're going to die. Not yet. Hey, that's right. We are recording on April Fools. How about that? Yeah. Oh. H3's been hacked by our mine. Yeah, so is iDubs. Apparently, our mine or our mine or whatever. They're uh, they're back at it. <laughs> back at it again at Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Krispy. <laughs> we gotta just throw up that picture. Oh, it, it'll be there. <laughs> Good. No, but um, oh, this our mine thing is a little weird because it is April Fools, right? Mm -hmm. So obviously mini japes. But it's also. The day of our Lord. April 1st. No, that's that's supposed to be Good Friday. Oh, you're right. I got the two confused. No, but uh, it's also really strange because like H H3 and iDubs, I don't think are on the same network. Mm -hmm. But I've been seeing reports that they are. Because iDubs had the same network as like PewDiePie. He was on Maker, but I don't think Ethan was. Huh. So what's up with that? But I know they've done videos together. So maybe it is a jape. Maybe you need to submit it to Game Theory. <laughs> to Game Theory. A Game th God. Yeah, what's up? Why don't you like Game Theory? <laughs> Boy, you say... All right, let me... <laughs> yeah, let's get All into right, this. Um... Is that already the end of the first level? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so MatPat, like, gave Undertale to the Pope. Did you see his most recent little explanation? Or not explanation, but, like, video where he introed and, uh, like, had himself almost crying again because people have been sending him hate over that? What? Yeah, and he's, like, trying to explain himself, and it's just bad, it's... Mm, Matt Pat, <laughs> come on, bro. It's like... I, I'm not quite sure I'm getting what you mean, because I don't think I've seen anything where he was crying about it. I know he mentioned it kind of like offhandedly. Oh no, he like introed one of his videos for like two minutes. Recent one. Which one? I can't even remember. <laughs> So I keep saying one of his reasons, but... It's just <gasps> Why'd you throw the bomb? Because I wanted the spike, or the arrow. But if you throwing. had both, you could have been the throwing star bombs. Oh, you're right. I forgot what it was. The ninja stars. It's hard to focus on this game and talk about MatPat. Yeah, MatPat is an interesting character. Yeah. It's like, let me formulate my thoughts before I'm put on the spot about MatPat. <laughs> <laughs> No, what I'll was it you said this. about him yesterday? Like, the first thing? 
what fucking... But he's so far up his own ass. Oh, yeah, I didn't want it. Mm. <laughs> How am I supposed to explain myself when you put me on the spot like John Tron? Speaking of John Tron. Oh. So there was some stuff that went down with him. Mm-hmm. He got kicked off of the uh, ukulele project. As far as his voice goes. Like, they're taking him out of, like, a first day update. But apparently the console releases are going to have him in it. Yeah. So if you want to save your JonTron voice, just don't update the game. <laughs> it's like they're going to have that day one patch, but it, it that scares me because PC releases anymore always have, like, patches going on. That's just how it is. Yeah, because it's easier to patch a PC game. and. Yeah, and so there's going to be probably a couple of bugs that people aren't going to be able to get past or something. Oh, and if they so... update their game to fix that, they're going to have the John Charon voice removed. It's like... Well, I would hope that they have the game ready to play, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If it's but... ready enough for console to not have to have a patch. Yeah. It's I ukulele. It's, it's going to be good, though. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I am looking forward to it. I just wish... I just wish it wasn't so expensive. How much is it? Like 60 bucks when it comes out, probably? I think so. Yeah. It's like, shit boy. I know, like... I can't do that for a PC game. <laughs> That's why I'm hesitant to get the new, like, Zelda game, too, is because, you know, 60 bucks is 60 bucks. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. And I have a Wii U. I should probably get that one, though, because that one's going to be more... Rare and collectible. <laughs> oh, rare? Rare. Very rare. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be collectible, apparently. Kind of like uh, Twilight Princess on the GameCube, I think, uh -huh. is the most sought-after one. Because they had two releases. They had it on GameCube and the Wii. Uh-huh. I don't know, though. Hmm. It's kind of like whenever a game comes out anymore that's Nintendo... There's instantly this expectation for it to be, like, collectible. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm you supposed should... to be running. Yeah, get down those blocks before you get blocked in. Oh, go, go, left, left, left. Left. Oh, you're right. I can do that over yeah. here. Yeah, hey! Hey! Is that all three? Can't even remember. I think that was two? Oh. Or is this your second? I don't know. This... It's happening. I can't even remember all these levels. Oh god, we're breezing oh, by no. it. Whoop! I made like five yes. extra thumbnails. We might only need like two or three. Ooh. Oh god, guys, the end of the game is soon. It's nigh. We're beating a babby game. And just for those at home, Melody is controlling. Oh, I am. Um, yeah, that's why I'm like. I suck at talking and playing. It's a good thing I'm a Let's Player. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Yeah, hey, you know what? Hmm. We should have done something for April Fools. We should have. I think there's still time to do the thing with the thing and the stuff. To do that thing? To do that thing. Oh, boy. You know the thing. You know the thing. For the YouTubes? Yeah. That thing. Thousand degree knife. Versus Kirby. <laughs> oh, those Thousand Degree Knives. Hey, that guy's getting sued, by the way. Oh, I heard. Yeah, the dude that did the Thousand Degree Knives that got like 6 million views per video. Yeah. He's getting sued by the guy who actually came up with the idea first on YouTube. He never called it 1,000 Degree Knives, though. He called it like Very Red Hot, hot knife, knife versus like, I don't know, Rubber Duck and some random other shit. But he did a lot of these. Yeah. And this Thousand Degree Knife Mr. Gear guy started doing quite a bit like him too in fact burned some of the same shit hmm oh yeah and all the thumbnails were stolen I think well the idea of the thumbnail was stolen yeah. oh really yeah where it's like a straight up yeah where it's like a clickbaity looking like ultra red knife mm hmm yeah getting ready to go in on that coca cola you know who I can talk about and criticize who who I can like formulate 
formulate. Formulate. Never mind, I'll come back. Nah. Uh, formulate more of a thought on. Who? Gaijin Goomba. <laughs> God damn. Again, another on Matt Pat's channel. Okay, that one is. <laughs> like. Did like you see his all wedding? you have to do is turn around on this and beat everybody. Oh, something was going on? <laughs> yeah, we're playing a game. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Look. Hell yeah. Oh, did uh, Samurai Corn Dog ever reply to you? Oh, yeah, he liked my tweet. Nice. Yeah, I tweeted. Hashtag hell yeah. <laughs> Gerard's too good to answer back. <laughs> That's no, but uh, what were we talking about before? Um, guys and Goomba. Okay. If you want to, like... I know the word cringe is cringe in itself, right? Yeah. If you really want to, like, just have a good old-fashioned, like, ugh. Just uh -huh. go and watch a couple of his videos. Like, he does really good on the videos that he edits. Goomba tits. That, like, highly and... Goomba tits. You know, he... I'll give him credit. He does some cool stuff, but... There's a couple things that he needs to answer pan for. At Panty. A pony music artist. One of them is Goomba Got Back. <laughs> Just go watch that. That's awful. And his wedding video while you're at it. It's it's smeared, though. It's like, you know, a lot of people made fun of it. It was held in his office with everybody half-assed dressed up like um, Nintendo characters. Like, they didn't go all out or anything. It was just like... It was bad. Someone here is wearing a Luigi hat. It was bad. Goomba tits. Mmm, boy. That whole thing. It's just like, I don't understand why that video was ever on his main channel. That looks like it should have been like a private moment. <laughs> you know, and it would have been fine, but it was so awkward for everybody else that wasn't involved. Yeah. Oh, you can get that one up. I didn't get anything. I didn't get shit. You lied to me. I believed in you, and that's how you treat me? I'm sorry. Hey, oh. uh, this might be the last episode now, so if it is, <laughs> hallelujah. But if it's not, we're going to give you a false intro. Or a false exit. See you later. See ya. Should we put an ad here? Or should we just stick a nice ad right in the middle and get that sweet, sweet revenue? We could talk about Blue Apron. <laughs> Please sponsor That's right. us. Even an idiot like me can cook a fantastic meal. Mm, you smell the chicken cooking? Oh, they put bay leaves right in the package for you. Three easy steps, all on a card. You don't even have to flip through pages. I've got <laughs> <laughs> It's back! 